started. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with my Dragon Quest XI. I'm streaming a bit earlier today because um, I might have something to do tonight, so um, yeah, let's do this. We gotta go to Panglai. Perhaps an old friend or two? Oh. I think I'm gonna find Rob here. Because Rob seemed to be like he was training on a mountaintop. Also, um, today I decided to add a chat box. It's gonna be on the right side. Uh, hopefully it's not too big and it doesn't um, obscure too much of the screen. But I tried to make it as small as possible. We'll see. Just a new thing I want to try. Nope, nope, I don't want to save. Okay, okay. So Mount Panglai, I gotta go to the north. The king of the north! Ba -ba -da, ba -da. Don't touch me. It's nice to hear Dragon Quest's orchestral music through my headphones. I was just hearing it through my low TV volume this whole time, but man, such a richer experience. Hangline Mountain Gate. Yeah, I didn't see any harvest points, so we good. I don't think I saw any treasure chests, so we good. Whoops, we loaded. Hey Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy hump day! It's Wednesday, right? Uh, Yeah, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day! <laughs> oh wow, that font for the chat box is small. But is that... is the chat good? I haven't really fiddled with the settings. I was just like, hey, here's a new source to add to the screen chat box. And I didn't mess with like font size or anything. Hope so, yeah. I wonder why the box is so fat and wide. Don't touch me! Oh no! Ah, okay. Oh wait. There's a little bit of land sticking out here. There's probably a harvest point or a treasure box. And there isn't. No, there is. Yeah. Mini metal! I think I have enough mini metals to um, get a reward. Once I'm able- oh! <laughs> ah, Naw nah, childs. Naw kids. Oh, instead of orchid, it's naw kid. Oh! I forgot to change tactic! Oh man, Hendrik actually takes damage now. Um, tactics. Uh, follow orders, please. Thank you. Victory will be ours! Attack. Uh, let's just, yeah, kill him off. That's only one person killing us. Oh man, I kind of wanted to see Hendrik dancing. Like, what kind of dance does he do? Uh, still waiting to get another axe. Maybe I should equip Hendrik with better armor? No, he got hit by a critical hit, so there's nothing I can do about how much damage he took. May need to change the chat box on a timer, if possible, or if fill up the game screen. Um, yeah, true. Let me adjust this then. Um, let's see. Theme clean. Let's have the chat to only four. Okay. And um, where is it? Where is it where it's always on? Always show messages? No. No, yeah? Um, how do I do the timer? Font settings, font size. What if I make the font bigger? No. I'll make the font like 16, chatter, uh, source. Okay. Let's see if that's good done. Like, I like the theme that I downloaded to my, um, for my alerts and events and all that. It's nice and clean and it gives a background color that's easy to read off of, but sometimes the sizing, I'm like, why did you make this so wide? It's kind of annoying. Campsite! 
And we rest. Oh wait, I already tried optimizing um Hendrix armor and equipment. There wasn't much I could give him. This shiny thing better be worth it. Amazing, I didn't slip off and die. A diamond! Is someone gonna die now? Anyways, we go back across the cliff. The place you're going to will have armor for Jade. Noise. Hmm, I may need to get a new chat box thing because the way they just auto size the font is just bad. Okay, I'm turning the chat box off. Bye. Um, there we go. <laughs> I'll fiddle with it later. When I'm not playing a game, when I could just fart around messing with settings, then I'll um, do chat box stuff. Dragon Rider. I think I fought these guys before. Ability Dragon Slash. Ho ho! Did Hendrik have a dragon ability or did it get rid of that? Nah, I got rid of it. Okay, whatever. You attack! Ooh, I forgot to do dragon. Whatever. Still killed him. We have to be your tester anytime. Nice! We have Thank carried you! The day. Mount Olympian, awarded for successfully riding lots of mountable- Whoa! That's also a trophy! Cool. I'm guessing I have to use you to get up. Yeah. Keep going up. Whee! Oh, this is fun! Oh, I don't want to run into enemies, though. No! <laughs> the thing I didn't want to do! How can this be? They get to attack first, but they're gonna run away because they're chumps. I don't think I fought this rock bomb in the Potato Land people thing. But he's still dead. We have carried the day. What does carrying the day mean? A rock bomb shard, lovely. I already have a bunch of those. Don't touch me. Whee! And we keep going up. What's the point of having this huge crevasse if you can't even climb it? Well, I guess that's why they're like, hey, mount a monster. Touch this. Touch it. Mithril ore. Cool. Ah! If I flap above them, yeah, then I don't run into them. Cool. Whee! I like this flying thing. Quite nice. Jug of fresh water. Don't see anything else, so we go. Wait, they're shiny over there. Heck yeah. These are my favorite mounts. Oh, it's so nice when they like glide too. Kind of reminds me of um Drakengard. Enchanted stone. Wee. Why does this music sound so scary? Wee. Oh no, I must dismount. You can't go in this hole with me. That's what she said. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh man, do I have to ride a hornet dude too? Well, you're shining, so I'll do it. Honey head horror knights. <laughs> Let us fight side by side. Wow, he died very easily. Like, I know they meant to say, like, hornet as a play on, you know, the bees. But every time I see horror knight, I'm like, was never in so they hose? Ah! Why? Why would you fly right in front of me? That's not cool, man. 
grows ever more angry. I did nothing to you. Ah! Shot something out of his butt. And he died for it. That's what you get for messing with me! Is that a... nope. <laughs> jump! Jump! Can you... Okay. His jumps are barely jumps. They suck. Don't need to... Also, if you get pep with Hendrik and MC, there's a quest to kill the dragon with their pep power. Gosh darn it! Oh, whoa! I got new recipes! Wait, uh, uh, uh. I didn't see if there was an axe recipe, but let's double check. Uh, no. Sword, great sword, shield, and boo. Ah, but it does considerably raise our. Ooh, armor. I mean, defense. Okay, maybe I should make this because there's been like a lot of dragon thingies. Whoops. Around here. So at least make it for main character. Flourish. Whoa, what's Kaquadra Bash? A double strike strike over four squares in a two by two configuration. Ah. Okay, well, we're doing double. Wow! Whoa, this is gonna take a lot. Uh, triple whammy? Uh, triple whammy here? Huh? Okay. Double whammy? Double whammy. Ugh! Okay. Uh, just normal dash? Why would you do that? Um... Okay, let's just try doing a normal bash and bash. Cool, I'm done. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Okay. Seven perfectionist pearls, damn. Okay, I will make dragon mail for both of them. Ooh, that is pretty expensive, but it'll raise their defense considerably. And since there's only two of them, yes, I will make two. Let's try Kukwaja Bash. Ah! Ooh. Uh, let's try a triple whammy. And another triple whammy. Nice. Uh, just bash here. Why would you do that? Oh, that's why. And let's try a lightning bash. Cool. Finish. Yes. Another perfect! Yay! Time to make one more. Only six perfectionist pearls, excuse you. One more for Hendrik. Okay. After this, it'll still be. I'll move on with the story. Flourish. Kakwadra bash again. Okay. And then triple whammy. And then triple whammy. Wow, they don't want to give me the good luck I had last time, huh? Uh, let's just normal bash. Nice. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, bash. Nice. That's good enough. I will take it. Bash. Cool. Bash. Bash. Nice. Why? Why? Okay. Double whammy for you. And then just bash. And, uh,. Let's try a lightning bash here. Damn it! Damn it! Oh well. This is probably a plus two. But I'll be happy with that. Oh! Another perfect! <gasps> Yo! It's my lucky day! Ah! Yes! 
I'm done. I'm done. And now, oops, equipment me. Uh, let's see. Falcon Blade is attacked twice, so you will be. Uh, what did I just make? Dragon's Bane. Charm goes down, but attack will go up, so I don't care. This will be Dragon Mail. Cool. And you auto equip offensive. Yes. Oh, he switched to swords. Mm. Yeah, let's leave him as swords for now. Just cause he has two of them he can use. Hey Jay, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Wednesday. How's my favorite streamer? Oh, you are too kind. But I'm doing well. Um, my toe just kind of hurts because I think I sprained it slightly. I stepped wrong when I slipped on my carpet. So yeah, not fun, but not too bad. Okay, Angrela, and there's a summit tunnel. Well, let's just check what's all the way at the end. Oh, but other than my toe, like, things are pretty good. I've had a nice relaxing day so far. I hope you've been having a good day. What happened now? Um, nothing. I was just, um, I was just walking around in my room. But, like, um, my socks that day were pretty slippery on the carpet. And so I was like, whoa. And I think my big toe, not my big toe, my second toe got bent back weird. Whee! Enchanted stone. Okay, I think I'm gonna try going to Angrela first, and then I'll check out what the summit cave is. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I definitely think Rob is here. Grandpa! A temple on top of a mountain. Grandpapa! What connection could a place like this have to the luminary? It's high up, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. It certainly benefits from divine protection of some kind. You gotta stream Persona 4 Golden after this. Uh, <laughs> I haven't played Persona 4 Golden in a long time. I started a playthrough years ago. I know that face. That man is a knight of Heliodor. But tomorrow, if I have time, I'm thinking I might stream on Persona 5 Strikers again because it's pretty fun. Heliodorian swine. They stole that from Uncharted 2. What? Your blockade will break us. Think again. The disciples of Angrilla are made of sterner stuff, as you will soon see. What are you doing to us? What in the... These movements must be intended to confound us. <laughs> be on your guard. Would love to see you stream Persona 4. Love that game. Yeah, I really should finish that playthrough. It's just Enough. other All of you. other games came out that were more interesting. Is this how we treat visitors? Whoa, it's a Krillin! <laughs> As your High Lama, I order you to stand down. Your Holiness, these people are not visitors. They are soldiers of Heliodor. We cannot be sure of their intentions. Listen to Krillin. Soldiers of Heliodor, you say? <laughs> the tall one, perhaps. But his young friend does not look like yeah, a Yeah, he totally looks like Krillin. Either. He just needs the... Dots on his forehead. You're the luminary. I sense a great power within you. Tell me, young man, are you the luminary? I am. Incredible. He divined your true identity with a single glance. Meanwhile, you kept calling me Darkspawn. Thanks a lot, Hendrik. How long we have waited for this day. Please, you must forgive my disciples' discourtesy. Their training is incomplete. Ha. Welcome to Harsh Angela, words. honored luminary. It would please me if you would join Ooh, me in the whoops. high hall that was loud. at the top of the temple. 
We have much to discuss. How did you wind up here? I feel like I see Dragon Ball Z clones everywhere in this game. A strange child, but remarkably perceptive for one so young. There is more to him than meets the eye, that much is certain. Well, we have come this far. We might as well make our way to this high hall of theirs. See what he has to say. You don't say, dude. Uh, it's like, I love RPGs, but sometimes they repeat information too much. It's like, hey, come over here and let's talk more. It seems like they want us to go over there to talk more. And I'm like, duh. That's what they just said. Like, RPGs from back in the day would not have repeated all this information. If anything, they just say it once and then you're just like, wait, I don't remember. What am I supposed to do? And then just ditch you. <laughs> so you have to use like a guidebook or a walkthrough to be like, where do I have to go next? They do come from the same artist, yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like his art style. And it's just like, haha, you look like Dr. Jero. Don't go hungry, the local delicacies of Angrela. It's widely agreed that Angrela's unique style of cooking grew out of the need to provide delicious nutrition for the monks who performed a grueling training while still adhering to a strict vegetarian diet. Perhaps the temple's most famous dish is the legendary Bam Bam noodles, which are served only at special festivals. Claims that this is the most delicious food in all the world, certainly now and found that the beetle set to symbolize pride in one's achievements, and anyone capable of making the arduous mountain climb in order to taste them firsthand has every reason to be pleased with themselves. Ah. I want noodles. There's a tourist pamphlet entitled Girl About Town, Puerto Valor. Start your day with a lazy morning relaxing by the water and enjoy a traditional breakfast of pancakes with coconut sauce and strong valorian coffee. Then make your way to the beach where you can sun yourself while enjoying a good book and snack and delicious tropical food to sweet, juicy flavors. The fresh valorian products can simply can't be beaten. Once the day starts to cool, make your way to the casino to try your luck at the tables until it's time for dinner at the world's hotel's world-class restaurant, the chef's special is out of this world. Finally, sit at the bar on the beachside terrace, sipping a cocktail and losing yourself in the stunning saffron sunset, or the bartender's as <laughs> resting your zero eyes. This is just one of the many ways to while away a day in delectable Puerto Valor. If it sounds like your idea of fun, then don't delay, start planning your trip today. Why does a church have so many pamphlets about traveling and food? Mini metal! I'm just waiting to see like Chrono Trigger character lookalikes. Like I've seen tons of guys with Goku's hair and I'm like, yeah, cool, but he hasn't been a redhead so far. So I'm like, where's Chrono? Where's Luca? Where's Marl? There's definitely not gonna be a frog lookalike. I mean, Hendrix kind of a Magus look-alike, if you just shave off his beard. But yeah, where are all they? <gasps> and an Isla look-alike. Oh, I think we've seen a lot of Isla look-alikes. Like the female warriors. Uh, I just want to see if there are any more books. Or pots. Nothing. Cool. Nope! Pots! I lied. Nothing. Garbage! Oh, 80 gold. 80 gold coins, that's not that much. Whoa. Dog? Cat? Meow. You cannot pit pet the kitty in Dragon Quest XI. Wait, whoops, I have to go to a high hall. I keep coming back here. Wrong set of stairs. Yeah, what? It is this way. Well then, how do I reach- Oh, I have to go inside the- Wait, what? Oh, yeah, these- I can read maps. I can't read maps. Now, are there any treasures here? Nope, just a dude. Item shop will have gear. May want to look also where I Jader. You once again to I will check it. Thank you. I didn't I think it would be know, like an armory either. I thought it was just straight up items. Of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as your holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world. 
in the castle of Dundrasil. But then the world tree fell, Waiting and we him. knew you screwed you up. Mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? No. This is the emblem of Dundrasil. Oh wait, it's the, on the, the back of my of cape. Heroes. I'm so dumb. The princes of that nation have come here to your young <gasps> Whoa! friend. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't press anything. Of Dundrasil. <gasps> Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy. Oh and no! Study under the great grand I was supposed Master to spend Pang. six years of my life training here. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang, you speak of? When the Lord of Pang's Shadows dead. brought the World Tree low, the Master Wait, set isn't Pang the name of the lady that's training Rob right now? Temple from destruction. Or am I wrong? The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grand Master Pang did not return. A noble sacrifice, indeed. Nope, okay, it was that lady. Now that the master is gone, it falls Oh, I am right. Okay, yeah, so she's still Come alive to the and kicking. Of discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. Time to go into the hyperbolic time chamber. It is a shame that the grand master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what his holiness has in store. Can I snoop? Uh, field of discipline. No, let's try going upstairs first, though. And admire the beautiful details. Like, wow, look at this. The lighting, the colors, the modeling. Beautiful. All hail the High Llama! Snooping, snooping. Look at that! The drum, the incense, the pots, the lighting. Oh my, look at this! Oh, damn! There, oh my, like all that, those soft shadows, yeah. Let me, let me get in there. Light my face. Yes! Look at that, oh! I'm beautiful and majestic. Ah, it's so beautiful. Okay, but there's like no trash. Oh, I lied. There's a red book. There's two red books. There's a book called On the Nature of the Naughty Stick. Jelly Toast takes it. The Grand Master is an angry law wield a mighty weapon whose name echoes through the ages. I speak uh, uh, not of the wave cutter scimitar nor of the staff of torn clouds. No, I speak of the naughty stick. The origins of this legendary tool of instruction can be traced back to the very founding of angry law. It is said that the stick itself chose the very first Grand Master. Some believe that it was carved from a branch of Rigdus and that even a dragon could not break it though it tried with all its might. Of course, it is best known for its use in pun punishing young monks for a lapse of focus. The pain, the pain, it, the pain it inflicts is rumored to be so severe that the acolytes fear their very souls have been spanked from their bodies. Fun. Uh, the Sutra of the Angrila. The master teaches that though man is in the world and the world is man, to devote oneself to good deeds is to serve the world, to bring goodness into the world is to protect it. The master teaches that through suffering we learn of ease. Huh? That through sadness we learn of joy, to love mankind, and thereby the world, this is our duty. Man is the world, God is, goodness serves the world, learn from good things from bad, and therefore, thereby love the world. There is the wisdoms of Angrila, realm beyond the clouds. These are the precepts of by which you live. That was kind of confusing. That was a lot of flowery language. Damn it, I tried to just jump off. Yeah, a lot of flowery language just to be like, treat the world and each other nice. <laughs> Wee! Oh, where's the. Okay, here it is. Treasure chest? Nope. Hi. Beyond those doors lies the field of discipline. Where students of Angry La strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the wise ones who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master. If you mix around. I Accepted Erdwin, him as a his name becomes Winder. And trained him in the secrets <laughs> of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, 
He met someone. Someone he who met would his future his wife forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Morkant. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip I don't the think other. I heard of Morkant in, the, in the Potato People books yet. They became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. So I need magic Before power? Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone. A pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkan. I have not heard the name before. Does Morkan become Mordigan? Now, allow me to show you to the field of discipline. If you would be so more good Kent, as to More like more can. Ha 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 puns. <laughs> Here I will beat six years worth of training into your weak body. Sorry, just taken in the scenery. Trying not to move the camera too much. Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. Blood, sweat, and tears. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before so you. So maybe I'll get new skills, new moves here. It's like here you can break An your potential. Unbroken line leading all the way back to the age of heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements <laughs> shall live long in the temple's memory. Did he actually achieve something, or was he just perving out on all the girl girls? <laughs> Pang was a harsh master. <laughs> With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation directly to their fundament. It became Robert known as would always the want to be spanked stick. by the naughty stick. During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior <laughs> was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. 10,000! The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. He Every just wanted to get smacked by a pretty lady. At all times, lest he face the same fate. <laughs> A legendary achievement. <laughs> They're both just like. Wah, wah. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord you can get Robert the naughty stick as a weapon. Oh my gosh! Does Rob use it or do I use it though? And emerge stronger every time. The fall of the world tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. <laughs> Tonight, there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. Train me now! We would be greatly honored if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us. But in this respect, at least, we can provide. How did they decide that... He doesn't even have a real name, huh? How did they decide that High Llama would become the next... whatever. That night, the High Lama holds a banquet in Jelly Toast's honor. The long-suffering disciples are overjoyed to have an evening's respite from their training and eat, drink, and dance until the early hours. Then morning comes. Da -da 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 -da. Don't know, never use it. Ah, okay. It's probably like a joke gag weapon that doesn't do any damage. Then. Wake at last. Hmm? It is high time we were on our. No, way. they have to train me. If the Grand Master was still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against. No, the I need to limit break. Sadly, it was not to be. I need to transform to Super Saiyan! How dare you! Oh, okay, so it came up here anyway. Boo. Hi, you're cute! Jump! Damn it, I just want to jump off the railings! 
I don't need to talk to you. I'll just leave. And the hermit? What news of him? Forgive us, your holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable Okay, so to now reach I probably go to the summit cave. I see. Your holiness, is there a problem? We're leaving, bye! <laughs> yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced. Then just as suddenly... Is the hermit Master the Roshi? The Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. Why would he just run? The mountain has become infested with monsters. Yes, in a way. <laughs> emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. Weaklings. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can and see, you guys tried to fight me. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. That's why you need experience, dude. I thank you for Go your out kindness, and keep fighting but battles. you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. The Knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Sure. Thank I you guess they gave the us food. Of my heart, but I cannot allow you to bear Item shop is on the way. Alone. Item shop, yes. I shall come with you. You hmm. must depart to the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east. Guys, we can't dilly dally around here. We can't waste any time. We gotta go. Oh, but you know, before you go, make sure you check this, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we really gotta go. We can't waste any time. Uh... Wait, a quest. It's been a while since I had a quest. Well, the one emerges from battle and triumph or defeat depends on... Depends not on one's skill with the sword or ma one's magical might, but upon one's will to win. No matter how powerful one's opponent, one must clear one's mind of all doubt and devote oneself entirely to overcoming the challenge they present. This is the first teaching of Angra Law. We disciples train day after day to master this mindset. Perhaps our teachings might aid you in your battles to come. Would you like to experience our training for yourself? This particular lesson involves defeating a mighty monster using a certain pet power. Will you accept the challenge? Sure. You have the spirit of a true disciple. I sense that you have braved the battlefield countless times before and performed a dance of death with many a foul fiend. For this trial, I would have you slay one of the boreal serpents that haunt the paths of Mount Panglai during the day and hide themselves away at night. They are fearsome foes indeed. And not only that, you must use the pet power Blaze of Glory <laughs> before felling the fiends. This skill vastly increases one's attacking might at the expense of defense. It encourages one to eliminate all thoughts of defeat from one's mind and concentrate entirely on the offensive. One of my favorite movies ever is Blades of Glory. With Will Ferrell and, oh, what's his name? It's who played Napoleon Dynamite. That's one of my favorite movies. And now there's a pet power. Wait, who has that pet power? Uh, okay, me. Uh, these are my skill, pet power. I have Blades of Glory. Oh, it's with Hendrick too, okay. So I gotta make sure Hendrik is also pepped. Because I can pep myself up with my own pep ability. Bye! Battle dress! Oh, yes! <laughs> Heck yes! Equipment bag, yeah. Okay. Uh, 211, 219, Fears of Fury Winter. Uh, hewed through heavy armor. Ooh, heavy. Going through heavy armor sounds nice. Hmm. Prevent the wear from being bedazzled or blinded. That is nice. Uh, let's see. Holy water scares off weaker monsters. Want to make sure I have one of at least each item. 
Dragon high, dragon horn. Okay. I don't have enough. Oh, <gasps> what happened to all my money? Okay, well, I guess I can't buy anything. Oh, damn. I can't buy his axe. Oh, wait, can I sell stuff? No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> mm. uh equipment bag. Yeah, sell this. Yeah. Let's sell all the super weak stuff. Uh, divine dagger, yeah. Uh. Iron lance, yeah, that thing's weak. Whoops. This, sell three of them, please. Uh. So old at weapon and armor, yeah. Never seen it, Hendrik, huh? Uh, thorn whip, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, fairy staff seems weak. Battle whip, yeah. No. Uh, -ba 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 -ba. oh yeah, all these shields and feather cats. Yeah, I can sell all these. Oops, I forgot to raise the money too. What? Three. Uh, sell this, sell this, sell this. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, so much crap I can sell. Oh, nope, I want to sell three. Okay, for ponchos. Okay. Um, what else? Chainmail. Anything that's like less than 800 I can definitely sell without any sadness. Actually, this I can sell too. Iron armor, yeah. Um, okay. I think I have enough. No, I don't want to sell. Now I can buy his axes. So do I want something that goes through heavy armor or do I want more... You know what? It's only 8 attack difference, so I'll go with this. The Cavalier Cleaver. Hendrik will carry this. Uh, no. Okay. Now let's try equipping Hendrik and see what the optimum is. Cavalier Cleaver. I have two Cavalier Cleavers? I'm not complaining, let's go! Hendrik and MC Pep, yeah, gotta do that. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I should also equip Hendrik with another um accessory. Uh the star of clarity cause confusion. Okay, that prevents against fusion. Um I mean confusion. Boots of defense can't be mesmerized, curses, protection from sleep attacks, paralysis, poison. Increases attack power. Did I not buy much? Uh, where's charm? Who's HP? No, he doesn't need that. Anti-freeze. I will give him that. I don't want anyone to be confused. Okay. I am going right way, right? Yeah. So now that I got the quest, I'll worry about it later. For now, we will just head up to the mountain. Let me in. Why are you forcing us to crawl under? Just dig a bigger hole. Okay. Summit tunnel. Whoa, it's a flame horse. A tent amount. Yo, that looks cool. If he's not dead after that, cool. <laughs> Victory is ours. Tonight we dine in hell. Whoa! There's a big boy. Hey! Oh, you were here in the beginning of the game, and I had to run away from you, but now I could take you on. 
<laughs> I was ready for that, sucker! Ow! How dare you? No! Actually, no, it's okay for me to be pepped. So, for the quest, I probably have to defeat that, like, specific dragon. Oh, damn it, I need you. I need you! I must fly! Run! Flee for your lives! Okay. My guess for the story is that the Hermit is actually Rob, and when he heard that uh, Master Pang passed away, he's just like, Oh crap, no! And he came to the summit, and then he entered like the dream world. That is my guess of what is happening. Is there something out across the water? No. Don't touch me, don't touch me. DON'T TOUCH ME! Gosh darn. Crit hit again, please. Thank you. Excellent. Keep flapping. It would be nice to fight a lot of enemies to get Hendrik up to the same level. But I'm lazy. Whee! The black dragon was still under the castle when you took on the Spectrum Knight, yeah. Dragon Court Quest is a yellow fl dragon flying around the mountain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Campsite! Any harvests? Nope. Or don't let me reach the campsite. Yeah! Grandpa! No? Nope, not Grandpa. His red hat tricked me. Okay, and we're gonna save. Mm -hmm. Just in case there is a tough battle. Okay. I don't see any treasures or shine. Nope, I lied. There's a treasure box here. A grandmaster's garb. Ooh. Hello, sir. Would you like to wear clothes? Are you cold? Hmm. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately, so he was in deep meditation when he breathed his. Oh, last. he's dead. I am glad, at least, that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. He's not just sleeping? Uh. Oh my gosh. No, this has to be my grandpa! <gasps> Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. <gasps> <clears throat> wow, all the boys uh, just love indeed. perving out. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> huh? It is Grandpa! That's Dundrasil! But this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... The skies. Can it really be? Grandpa! Grandpa! Lord Robert! Wow, he got thin. Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his How mentor does the, the size of his life, Oh, perhaps? his hair grew out because he's been here a long time. I was like, how does his body get no, so tiny but his breathing. mustache grows bigger? What? 
The spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter True, of time we are before we pass <laughs> the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. He's still training. I can't bother but him. How? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. Sure. But it is not a decision also to be taken Also, test armor, look for Rob as well. Once that uh -huh. place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Yeah, I'll bring Grandpa back. Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. I'm ready now! Now! Are you ready to enter the void? That's what she said. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the right. You gotta fight for the right to party. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Wow, Hendrik, rude! Looking down on other cultures like that? Typical white man. <laughs> you got the right for your flight to depart. Eh? Grandpapa, I am here to fetch you. Hello, Master Pang. Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. No, I'm still in the middle of it. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but given the dumb look on your do face, you know what fate awaits you here? Yes, my grandpa. He is wise beyond his years. An intellectual giant. I must return to the world above and well, tell you are in another I realm. such a marvel. <laughs> Do you think me a fool, boy? Do not pretend. There is no need for pretense here. You are ignorant. I'm not this ignorant. I know my grandpa is here. Just lead me to him, please. Of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, this world is a blank slate. It is a place of The High Lama nothingness. already explained this to us. This is the point between life and death. It is Before the void. And fell, now she's just like, You're an idiot! Let me explain! Like, come on, we already heard this! But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual <sighs> cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Lady, can you let me Before talk? Long, your I just want my grandpa. How is she as more tolerable in Rob's little side story thing? All who die will suffer the same fate. Right now, she just seems so high Until and mighty dark, and snooty. The Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. You're wasting my time. This is your destiny. Accept it. For you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from more It's like, clutches? for being a grandmaster and knowing if all the stuff, do, she can't sense that I'm the fool. luminary. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. 
There are others who refuse to accept that all is. Am I gonna have to fight her again and just like beat her Some butt? Some people just don't know when to give up. Or is this another test that she's doing to me? If it is, it's quite annoying. Blood the blocks, the stone. <sighs> Grandpa. She does come off like that. Yeah, she is like that. She's an optional <laughs> boss fight much later. Ah, okay. Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that You're I might teach him the You're not making any sense, lady! Now she's nice to me? Like, what? You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang, Grandmaster of Angrila. Your grandfather's I don't like this lady. teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic You're tormenting me right now with her? all your stupid chatter. Oh my gosh. The precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the Mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. Boys, you are so dumb! This is where people come to die! Blah, blah, blah. You're an idiot! Of course, your grandpa's been here because he wants to defeat the dark- Then why did you tell all that to me? But when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the age of heroes. Hi, Grandpa. Oh. I'm here. Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue! I swear it! Oh. Hey. Hi! Your grandson is standing right next to her. Way to say hi to me, Grandpa. <laughs> That's a funny face. Would you look at that? Screen cap thumbnail for today. Heck yeah, it is. After all. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! Hmm. Yeah. Can he not see me? Very impressive. Does he I not notice me? Soft notice me, Grandpa! <laughs> But it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? Hoo-hoo! For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment! Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. What are cockles? Ugh. Hundred nips of the hard Perhaps stuff. That you sounds could stop congratulating pretty yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose. Scandalous. You would see we have a visitor. Hi, Grandpa. <gasps> oh my! Is it? Is it really you, lad? Thanks for noticing me. Oh no, you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh. No, I came to pick you up. Stop your sniveling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here then? 
getting your soul back he and his from the shadow realm body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back oh really but i only came here to and you went to all that trouble as you can see I'm perfectly fine. Well, now you have to help me find all of our other party members, Grandpa. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. Yeah. Stop right there. Where do you think you are going? Back to the living. I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> finished? Oh. Now what? What are you gonna begun. do to me? Honored Luminary. If you would like to follow me. No, I would not. I would like to leave. Let me leave! Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It to is the a upside down. first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. For you. I have a technique yeah. no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai-Yi, our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, oh, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. Unstoppable. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have do faced Do I have before. the time to do this training? Well... Do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? Yeah, sure. I knew you would make the right choice. I'm kind of sick of her now. now <laughs> I'm just like, let, let me just begin. get on with life, please. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold. Oops. Hold out your hand and try. Whoa! Oh, Tomia Kapuding, thanks so much for subbing with Prime. As good as can be. Hope you're having a good day. For a first attempt, the heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh no, the, the poor lad's not ready. I am so Me? ready. Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you? Oh shoot, I'm fighting Grandpa and not her. Come on, lady, are you scared of me? What? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson. Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. And there it'll be good no training for you too, Grandpa. To the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know but when you are Rob ready to begin. But Rob is not a prince. He's the king. Oh, well, whatever. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready to fight your grandfather? Yes. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. What? Mm. He's gonna be doped up! Oh. 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 Oh! Oh, I! I've not felt this alive in decades! Let me have the little blighter! That's the spirit. Don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. 
Secret secrets Just are no fun. You watch me. Secret secrets hurt someone. Luminary, prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. Cool. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. Just, just start. It's just start. Oh my gosh. This old man can do. Stop talking, guys. Just get to the action. Ah. Come on then, laddie. Show me your sweat. I'm so pepped up. Quadra slash, quickly. Don't make me repeat myself. Ow, pearly gates. Uh, quadra slash. Single enemy only version of an almighty attack originally used by a luminary of long ago. Uh, that was weak. Should I have healed? Oh, yes, I should have healed. Yeah, he's preparing for his next attack. I need to heal. Ow. More heal me. I lost my pet power, no! This is the end for you! And a fet batiste. No! Okay, I will start quadra slashing the shadows. Okay, yeah, they can be taken out in one hit, so... Or it's getting stronger. Kasap, no! Ah! Excuse you, Grandpa! How dare you? Trying to beat up your only grandson like this? Aw, oh, man, more doppelgangers? No, wait, he only created one. Oh! Yeah. Then should I just focus on my grandpa? Uh, divide. Yeah, because he's just gonna continuously create doppelgangers until there's two. Frack, he's pepped up! Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal. Uh, Ow! Instead of healing, next time, let's try seeing if guarding will lower the... Damage. Uh, this is the end for you. Seems to hit a consistent yeah. 170. Let's heal again. Yeah. <sighs> Ow! Yeah. Grandpa, why do you hate me? He's not even in yellow health yet. I have not taken away half of his health. Okay, yeah, so I should leave the doppelgangers alone. They do nothing. Okay. Keep quadra slashing. Oh! I got him! Cool. I gained no experience. Yeah. Oh, 2,000. Okay. That was better than nothing. Usually do AoE spell or booth to take down the shadows in one turn. Uh -huh. Oh, whoopsies. Yes. I thought I could only use Quadra Slash, so I was like, that's all I I'll do. I could have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. Also, the name is called Quadra Slash, so there should be four hits or four so swords. But there's only one. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? I'll take my grandpa now. You beat me. Even with the last secret of angry la in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. That means I'm still stronger than you, old you man. Too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Whoa! 
Whoa, tentacles! Fruits? So this is where you have been hiding. Oh, are you another spectral Wait, soldier? I know that Give voice. me an orb. Lord again. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my Rob clutches himself will by take no damage from other spells, but shadows can. Oh, world. okay. You have only delayed the inevitable. No! Ah. Ah. Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach us But he here. sucked away my luminary power, it so... I he probably can you. reach us here. Run, go! So inconsiderate! There was one last thing I wanted to teach you. See, if you spent less time talking Fine. and more time teaching me, we must do it then the we might not be in this situation. You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. What? So the last secret of Angrila wasn't the last one, and Quadra Slash wasn't. Hey guys, either. your life is in danger, but we'll keep talking. Of course not. It has more lines man. of dialogue. There is another, a supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Aye, one that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Their pet powers combined. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to also, us. Also, for being in so a distressing, urgent situation, she still talks very slow. So that I can die happy. It's like if someone's you chasing you, like, me. with a knife, and you're just a, like, oh my gosh. This is not a good situation. Like, no, you'd be like, you oh my gosh. Exactly <laughs> as I say. Exactly when I say it. We have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the like, at least I here she's you. talking a bit faster, but like... Quickly! <sighs> uh. I'm sorry, he's just gonna say yeah! hi. Now, Luminary! Unleash! Quadra Slash! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. The last and greatest of all the secrets of Anguilla. The technique to end all techniques. Solar flare. <laughs> Solar flare. <laughs> Aw, did you run away? You wuss! <laughs> Wake up! Grab a shake up! <gasps> he is back with us! Make up! Watch you leave the kiss up on the table! Oh, oh he's holding but my he face! greatly weakened! We must get him to the temple right away. Exhausted after the events in the void, Jelly Toast falls into a deep sleep. In his dreams, he sees the smiling face of Grandmaster Peng, lit by the light of the ultimate ability of Angra Law. Then morning comes. Boop de boop de boop 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 ba doo. Ah. Hello. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Did you bring my grandpa? Lord Robert awoke cool. a short while ago. He's outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Is he still emaciated or is he just back to his normal plump self after eating? <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
Why can't I just yeet off the rails? Why must you make, make me walk down? Oh, probably to give the game some loading time to see all this. Yep, he's there. Oh, hello there, laddie. You poor manners, Better but I can survive it. <laughs> what are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Aye, the Grandmaster mm. put me through worse on more than one occasion. Time to give Rob a new look! Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the Void. That you met Grandmaster Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. Thank you. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Henrik, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Even Please though you did try to kill her multiple times. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture oh. yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. But Truly. you've been the biggest pawn. Well, not really, because you your body didn't get taken we over by Mordigan. We hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. We did get guidance. I got a new ability. We found Grandpa. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said old Erdwin used a very special form <gasps> of transport when he went after the dark. Time to get an airship. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? Ah, didn't we get gotta go to flying, that's what it means. It. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and not more. Hey Smith, how you doing? Thanks parents. for joining. Hope you're having a good As Wednesday. For our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So what say we head over to our boy and keep an eye out for our pals on the that way? That means Serena and if Veronica. If this and supposed to be sacred, the folks over there will know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Rob rejoins the party. New panels have been unlocked in his character builder. But what about mine? I want new panels. Let's check out what his new panels are. Rob can now use Pearly Gates ability, and Jelly Toast and Rob can now use the Solar Flare pet power. Honored Luminary, we disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. Thank you, High Lama. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. Oh, training we'll stand regime. ready to help you hone your powers. <laughs> if I do this training thing, will this unlock more panels for me? Because I would like new panels. Disciple worthy of the name, awarded for overcoming the unforgiving trial trials of Grandmaster Pang. Cool, 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 cool. Um, character builder, Rob. Whoa! It got so big! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn it! Damn it, damn it! Uh, trails, good reward from them. Know your panel story pro. Frack! Okay, well. Let's see. Let's do. I did all I could in Enlightenment, so let's do Heavy Wand since I tend to use him more as a mage anyway. I think I would like to start heading over to these, so I'll do this. Yeah. And ooh, maximum MP when wielding 14. MP when wielding 10, yeah. Let's do that first. 
Cool. And then see what this panel is. Ring of Ruin. Summons a signal that increases all party members' chance of inflicting critical spell strikes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But now I will start uh, saving 20! 16! Damn! Okay. Okay, well, yeah, if more panels of mine are gonna unlock, I don't want to spend my points until I see what the new things are. Um, equipment? Rob? Outfit! The grandest mask. Oh! This is so cute! Oh my gosh! Yes! Ah! Crow's claws. Mercury Benegra. Yeah? But I'm gonna change this to his staff again. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, doing good? How about yourself? I'm not doing too bad. I've been having a chill day. I cannot complain. I'm going to save. Save. Okay. Okay. Now, how do we get to Arborea? I'm pretty sure once we leave, they'll be like, well, now we should head this way. Upper path, you're taking. Rob can debuff monster, including take away their pep. Ooh! Nice! I'm gonna have to start doing his, um, claws, too, because... Where is it? Character builder. Yeah, because if I do claws, then there's, like, new stuff here. Agility? Maybe I should move him into claws, because there are some, like, um... Nope, that was it. It was just agility. Everything else is just claws. Hmm. I was like, yes, I want this agility. This? Okay. Uh, we got our water back today, so hot shower here, come after the stream. Oh my gosh. You didn't have water. That sucks. How do I, can I zoom? Zoom. Uh. Where was I? I was at Coast of Lore campsite, right? Ang Mount Panglai campsite, no. Summit campsite, yeah. No, I want to be in Coast of Valor. Yeah? Yeah. Hope it's not too cold for you, Smooth. We've been enjoying un- like, really warm weather so far, so I'm just like, what is happening? Uh... I don't know how to get to Arborea. But I guess this is a good chance to just go around and... get campsites again so I can zoom. So Arborea was close to Idrisil. I don't have a ship, so I can't go on water. Retinal Rebecca, Texas weather hut? What does that mean? Champ Sauvage, okay. So I should get these um I should get these uh campsites for uh phenomenon. Yeah, I could go a little further. Autocorrect, my goodness. <laughs> I was like, am I having a stroke? Am I reading it wrong? <laughs> I won't go into the Eerie Eerie because I don't think Eerie Eerie led to Arborea. I'll rest here. Rests. <laughs> Okay, and then to head south, I need to go up these stairs. I don't think I have to go to the girls' academy either. Because the place- wait, can I exchange my medals there? Or was it only in... Costa of Valor- Puerto Valor that I could? Uh. Back to Texas weather hot. Oh, so it stopped snowing? If that is the case, then that is good.
Yeah, like I'm surprisingly not in a sweatshirt. I only have to wear a sweatshirt when I sleep because the day has been so nice and beautiful. Yeah. Um, should I? You know what? I will go to the girls' academy just so that it gives me like another spot to go to. Because if it turns out I have to come here later anyway, might as well get this warp spot now. No need to find certain someone first. You get your ship back and can hand them in the medals at the academy. Okay, then I'm gonna hand in my medals. So I'm pretty sure I collected enough for the next reward. <laughs> wow, even in times of darkness, the girls' academy still stands. And it's so beautiful, the flowers are still blooming. The girls are still running. Wow. And a quest! Oh, okay. Hi. I am Madame Labouche. I have been watching you since you first set foot on Academy grounds. I have held my tongue until now, but I can hold it no more. How dare you traps around this honorable école comme un vagabond. These girls will one day be shining stars in elder and old society. They should not be mixing with riffraff. And you, mon petit filo, are the riffiest, roughest ruffian I have ever had the displasia to witness wandering these hallowed grounds. But there is hope for you yet. If you wish to prove that you are indeed a gentleman worthy of this academy, you must dress to impress me, that is. Come back when you're looking a little more chic and shop, smart and stylish, and I will see if you measure up to my exacting standards. Do we have an accord? But what? Une bonne réponse. That is that the spirit, Philo. Now there are several ways to boost your style. First and foremost, you must gain experience and take your statistics vital to another level. But that alone will not suffice. Un gentleman must ensure that his entire ensemble exudes elegance. The arms, the accessories, the every single thing that you equip affects how stylish you appear. Pick up the equipment that shows you off to your best advantage. Bon chance, Philo. Good luck. Come back to me when you have made a true Prince Charmant of yourself. Oh, I just have to up my charm. Okay. 350 charm? What? Don't tell Bugo about the All Girls Academy for real. Then talk to Slugwing. 350 charm? How? How? Wow. Everything lowers my charm. Wow. Okay, so... 199. How does Dracillian armor raise it more than a smart suit? Okay. But it's gonna be 350, so I don't... I'm not ready for this. Whatever, I'll come back later. <laughs> If I was at like 200 something, I'd be like, okay, yeah, let's try this, but no. Whoa, so many quests. Welcome to the Academy. I am Madame Augustine, and I have been a teacher here for 40 years. I cannot count the number of young girls that have passed through these hollow dolls. I remember one girl in particular who caused me more headaches than all the others put together. She was a naughty jeune fille who was always getting herself into mischief. But no matter how much trouble she caused, you could not help but smile at their antics. She was the breath of fresh air that messes up your air. But then, one cold and frosty morning, just a few days before her graduation, she ran away. She sent a letter a few days later saying she would not be coming back. Et voila, she never did. That was 30 years ago. I am an old woman now. Soon I will leave this place too. But before I go, I wanted to have a diploma, the certificate I would have given her on her graduation day. Only when that is done can I retire sans regret. Can you help me, mon cher? Can you find this girl and give her the diploma I've been holding on to all these years? Sure. Merci beaucoup. If you could find her, I would be so very grateful. The only clue I have to her location is the letter she sent after she ran away. The postmark shows that it was sent from the Crystal Kingdom of Stiffelheim. Perhaps if you were to go there, the locals might be able to give you some kind of clue as to her whereabouts. Her name is Lillian. Please, you must go to Stiffelheim, find her, and deliver the diploma. Cool. I don't know if I'm doing French accents right, and I don't know if I am pronouncing words right, but I'm trying. And more quests! Get all the quests! <laughs> it's me, my lord de la Merc, and I smell absolutely rotten. I've run out of perfume.
tomb. This is awful. Now everyone will find out how stinky I really am. I'd rather die. You have to help me. Please, could you go and see my daddy and ask him for another bottle? Pretty please. Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. My daddy's name is Fitted, and he makes the prettiest smelling perfume in the whole wide world. He usually sends me a new bottle every month, but for the last two months, nothing has come. My family recently moved to the cryptic crypt just to west of Hokto. I hear a lot of scary monsters have been seen around there lately. I hope they don't have anything to do with my perfume going missing. I'd be ever so grateful if you'd go and make sure my dad is okay. Oh, and bring me some more uh, perfume too. Holy crap. <laughs> There's accessories that give really good charm and platinum swords give good charm as well. Nice! Thanks for the tip! Okay, let's get this one more quest and then find out where the metal trade-in is. I forgot where it was. Oh, but the upstairs might have quests too. Hello, Traveler! It's me, Conchella! How do you fancy testing your puzzle-solving skills in a right royal riddling spectacular? Yes. Yay! You're a first-rate recreation traveler! A good sport! Now let the games begin! Riddle me this. What sort of single-handed sword sounds like you should pilfer it? If you think you know the answer, equip it and come show me. What? What sword? For pilfering? I don't. Sword? I mean... Crows steal things? How about that? No, oh, it's a single-handed sword. What do you think the sword would say if you wanted to pilfer it? Snatch me, pinch me, steal me? Steel sword? Well, I'm giving you back your rod. S steel? How about that? So you think that's the answer, do you? Let's see. That's it. You've exercised the answer, Traveler. You've worked it out. The single-handed sword that sounds like you should pilfer it is a steel broadsword. Get it? Steel broadsword? Steel broadsword? Hee hee hee. Not bad, not bad. But the game's not over yet. I've got another perplexing problem for you. This one's like a short-tempered cactobile. It's particularly prickly. All right, here we go. Riddle me this. What sort of weapon sounds like it's made to frustrate something that's flagging? Huh? This is a tricky one, even for a cranium container. A brain box, like you. I'll give you a clue. Whatever this weapon is, it frustrates things that are flagging. It diffuses damp squibs. It declines defeats. It foils this. What? Oops, I think I freed the feline. I've let the cat out of the bag. If you think you know the answer, then equip it and... It's something I can equip? Huh? What? I'll, I'll just do this another time. I don't know what they're talking about. <clears throat> Bye. Don't have it yet. The two oh, it's a two-handed weapon. I have not been paying attention to two hands. Damn it. Okay. Wait, um, change level. Okay, there's no quest, so I don't have to go walking, so I'll just need to go this way. Because if I remember correctly, the metal trading wasn't here. No, it was the principal office. Whoops. Oh, second weapon? Whoops. So it's not two-handed, it's just a second. Blah, 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 blah. 22 mini medals. Yeah, give me stuff. Yes! I get... An eyeball rod. Cool. 
ba da ba you fill the page! Yay! ba da ba da ba Yay! Now I get more! Wait, I get another academy? What? I already have one! Huh? Whoa! Recipes! Yay! Goo! Wow, I have a total of 32 stamps. Nice. And if I finish the... the Conchella's quest, then I get, um, five more. Okay, well, that's it for- can I- wait, can I zoom here? Uh, the Academy? Yes, I can. Okay, so now I'm out. And then I'll head to Puerto Valor. And then... I really don't remember where uh, Arborea is in the world map. Now we run to the south! I like how, like, kind of open-ended that Dragon Quest makes their story because in a lot of times, it's very linear. It's like, hey, go to this town, and then it's like right over there. But then, you know, when you have to look for the the six orbs, and you're like, wait, I don't know where to go next. And they're like, well, use this time to like travel the world or if you really need help, like, go see the queen in Nautica. It's like, they will still give you help, but you don't have to, like, strictly follow one rule. I mean, one path, and I thought that was cool. <laughs> that man is in danger. We must go to his aid. See, this is a good mix of, like, it's linear, but you can, you can still explore wherever you want to go. And I like that. <laughs> The dresses themselves improve drop rate of monster dropping items. Oh. <gasps> Sumado! How'd you find us? I'm alive! Oh no, you don't, honey. Not unless Goody. you want to carry those claws home in a bag. <laughs> the scenes. Wee! Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I kind of want a new um, outfit for Sobando. I do like those peacock fans, though. They are amazing. Silvendo, darling, you were fabulous. So fierce. So if you, if I didn't, doesn't even begin to describe If I didn't it, have the extra si uh, side character stories after World of Darkness, I would have just been like, what? Where did you get all these men? Why are you dressed like this? Oh, honey! Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? Oh, darling! <laughs> truly, truly, truly? That little back butt shimmy. It is. I think it really is. Darling. It's so wonderful to see you. So oh, a pimp with his boys. Ooh, he's got a harem following him. Um, <laughs> you two are acquainted? And, Hendrix uh, never seen Silvando well, before. What is it that you do exactly? He's only ever seen me with Eric and Jade. Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? I smooch boys for a living. We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost! Happiness and smiles! It's smile! <laughs> That's right, darlings! We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world. My little parade has picked up quite a cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness. Aren't they just so much fun? Funny how you managed to only pick up dudes. <laughs> but never mind that now. I can't believe you're alive. It's a miracle. 
I thought I'd never see you again. Uh, excuse me? The slug quest of 350 gives Sylvan new armor. Frack! I need all those weapons! Oh, honey, I'm so oh my sorry. gosh! I, all about you. I mean, not weapons. I need are the you charm! Okay? You're not hurt, are you? No. No, I Damn am it. not. It can't be, Thanks um... It can't you be another party member that has the charm of 350, right? It has to be the main character. My name is Da. I come from Phnom Non in the south. And if it were not for your help, I would not be returning there. Thank you. Oh, you're heading home. Then we'd better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we? Gotta follow you into your home. <laughs> Listen, darling, you and me uh. have got a lot to talk about. It has to be MC, okay. Then I'll look into all the charm so of being accessories. You the parade for a little while, huh? Come on. You know you want to. I do. Yes. I'll join oh, your yay! boy harem. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Time for you to take your first steps as a soldier of the smile spreading special forces. Here, put these on. Also, where are the grills? Serena, Veronica, that is really cute. <laughs> no, you're Jade, where more are the girls? I you would. So this is just a sausage fest right now. <laughs> All right, boys, let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. He's an old friend of mine after all. <laughs> Lead on, darling. And don't let me cut you frowning. You're at the head of the world's premier gladness bringing parade! All right, let's get out there and make the world smile! Watch what and... Hendrick and Rob wear. Shimmy! Shimmy! <laughs> They're wearing nothing! They're wearing their normal clothes! Yeah! I've been lied and cheated too! All right, let's get moving. Phenomenon, here we come. Oh, and if we ever get separated for some reason, we'll meet back here, okay, honey? Oh no, it's an escort mission. Oh no. No! Oh my gosh, Hendrik! It's a clown! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're both clowns! <laughs> Oh my gosh, is this a real costume option for them? Because I will give Hendrik the, the clown outfit. Hurry up, Silvando. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking cute. Holy crap. It's not, but is, is main character's outfit an actual costume? Can I wear this forever? Because I would love to. They're just walking normally. Oh my gosh. MC's a high charm outfit. Perfect. I was counting on that for the slug quest. I this is wow, quite a sausage fest. <laughs> it's like there's no one on the road. We don't have to be this showy. All the time. <laughs> but whatever. I'm enjoying this. Wait, where's Phenomenon? Okay, I have to make a right into that town. Oh no, don't walk into the grass. Where are all the monsters? <laughs> Did we frighten them away? <gasps> You know, I thought bright, shiny, beautiful colors were supposed to attract creatures, not repel them. Hurry up, Zavando. Actually, no, I can't tell you to hurry up because there's four guys carrying that whole thing. Couldn't, um, what's his face? Build wheels? So all you have to do is either like push or pull it. Why do you have to carry it on your shoulders? What a burden. Can 
can just go ahead, don't need to wait. Oh, really? But he said, if we get separated, we'll meet back here. And I was like, no, I don't want to chance that. I don't want to, like, go back all the way over there. Also, I like looking at these outfits. They're clowns! You coming, Slavando? I guess you're not. Okay, I'm going first. Uh, okay, I'm going first. Oh, they're back to their normal outfits. And here we are at our destination, the beautiful, bustling tourist town of Nom Nom. Nope, it's dead. It's really dead. Uh, not here, too. Uh, the whole world is just so dreary these days. Um. Thank you for saving me. I... I must go now. Let me into your home. Feed me. I wonder what can have made him venture so far from home in the first place. Might it have something to do with why the town is so quiet? Looks like we're gonna have to help this town out. Hmm. Sounds like a job for Sylve's detective agency. Leave this to me. Agents of happiness? Soldiers of smile? Go spread some special parade cheer and find out what's going on around here. <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> Why can I not shake the feeling that Silvando and I have met somewhere before? Have you? Has he seen him, Silvando, with me? Oh my gosh, I'm still shaking my butt. Is this like a permanent effect of what am I wearing? Yes, parade participant. Oh wait, yeah, I need to um, switch my thing. Okay, so let's see. Heliodorn sword. This doesn't do more damage, excuse me. Oh, but look at that charm. Whoa, how much charm is my mart? 263. Ooh, ooh. This gives me more defense, but <sighs> you know what? Right now I'll focus on, you know, my actual stats. And then when I go see the slug lady, I will change back to my, this thing. I love this. He's perpetually dancing when he's wearing this outfit. This is fan freaking tastic. The people of this village are very scared. Muy, muy, muy asustada. See, si, something dark and complex has happened here. Hmm? Still? I think he is going to send your dad back to his home somewhere in the village. Donde esta señor da? Up there. Oh, but I can't seem to sprint. Okay, first I get the quest. Then I go see da. Where is da's house? That one, okay. Yeah, quest first. I don't suppose you know anything about food, do you? I'm a chef, you see. Right now I'm traveling around trying to learn more about the various cuisines of the world. I came to Phnom Penh to pick up some rainbow rock salt. I hear it's their most popular and delicious souvenir. But when I got here, the locals told me that monsters have taken over the place they get it from. Everyone's too scared to go down there. Hey, you look like you can handle yourself. I don't suppose you could go and get me some, could you? I only need a little pinch of the stuff. Sure! You will? Oh, that's great. Apparently they get it from a place called the Grotto de la Fonte over in Laguna di Gondolia. Some kind of cave by the sounds of it, and the rock salt somewhere near the middle. I'm sure you have no trouble finding it. I'll be waiting for you here. Good luck down there, and make sure you come back in one piece, okay? But Gondolia's far away. I need a boat. Right? Well, this is only phenomenal, but whatever. Okay, Da's house. Da, you are okay. You are not hurt. 
Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. <laughs> Your boy is so missing. So the father's named Da and oh, the son is named where Son. That selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. But you were out looking for him. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know. And now his son is gone Isn't missing. Isn't this the it is very inn, hard dude? For him. Do you know of the monster Avarith? She appeared in the village with her foul so friends. So I'm gonna have to go, to, go back Idrisil to the mural fell place. And the darkness came. We were paralyzed with fear and could not run away. Maybe she's another uh, spectral she soldier, and square. I'll get another orb from her. Give me your valuables, she said. Mm -hmm. Tell me what is most precious to you. Yeah, I it's the. And I know the casino as. Okay. People were so scared. Sorry, they last night. <laughs> without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. Why would you give away your family, you fools? But the wicked creature lied to us. She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. Duh. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty, rotten liars. Don't worry, honey. We're gonna get all your stuff back. All of it. Really? But Avarith is very strong. Very powerful. Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to stop me. I won't let you down. You know what they say. A knight's word is his bond. A knight? Hmm. Is Silvando a knight? Silvano, who are you? What's your backstory? She, she has a lair there, I think. Then let's get after her. We've got an evil door to punish. Where's Dave? South of the Champs Sauvage. Okay. Well, it's been about two hours now, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. I think this is a good place to end because then we could just pick up and save Phenomenon next time. But yes, like I said earlier in the stream, if I have time tomorrow, I'm going to try streaming more um, Persona 5 Strikers. But we shall see if I have the time. Uh, the next town you go to where the casino located has platinum swords to buy unless you got the book to make them. I think I have the book. But yeah. Um, that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, yeah, I wanted to stream early again today because I, again, I might have something to do. But yeah, I still have to wait. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.